Hi, I'm Emma and I'm from Pompstitch Tassel and today we are going to learn how to make a pom-pom buzzy bee. So, the things that you will need to make this are a large pom-pom maker, um, several balls of wool, black and yellow, um, you will need a glue gun, you will need some scissors and you will need some googly eyes. Alright, so there are things that we're going to use today. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a pom-pom. So, you need to open up your pom-pom maker. The pom-pom maker fits in like so. So you've got holes on one side, bubbles on the other. They fit into place like so. They do not clip, they literally just fix into place. Alright, so you make like a W shape. We're going to start with yellow on the bottom. Alright, so you're going to get your yellow piece of wool. You're going to tuck it under your thumb and you're going to wind over the top like so. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover one whole layer of this U kind of shape on this side, and then we're gonna stop for a minute, all right? Right, once you've covered a layer sort of about that thickness in yellow, you want to get your thread, you want to cut it off, and you're just going to poke the end in to your pom-pom maker, like so, all right? So it completely disappears. We're then gonna get our black thread, and we're gonna place that under, under our thumb over the yellow, and we're gonna wind over the top. And every bit of yellow that you've got on this U, you are gonna cover in black all over, one thick layer on top. Right, once you get to a stage where all of your yellow is covered by black, again, you want to cut from your black and tuck your thread in, like so. Right, then we're going to go over the top of the black with the yellow thread. Alright, that all back. Right, so we're going to go over the top of the black with the yellow thread. So, same again, tuck the yellow under your thumb, wind over the top and you want to cover the entire of the black on this layer in one last layer of yellow. There's no black visible at all. You want to tuck in the rest of your thread like so. Obviously, if you were winding on a larger ball, again, you just cut off and re-tuck in. All right, so for the other side. <clears throat> this time, we started on yellow on this side, so we're gonna start on black on this side. This is to create the stripey effect that we're doing for the buzzy bee. So the layers, the full thick layers of color is what we're doing. Um, to create those stripes, all right? So exactly the same on this side, we're starting off and we're covering the whole of the bottom section in one layer of black, all right? Once your bumblebee has got to your black first black layer, we're going to cut off again and we're going to tuck our end in. Exactly the same as we did on that side. Then we're going to go over the top of this with yellow. So hold with your thumb, wind over the top and cover this entire black layer in yellow. All right, we don't want to see any bits peeping through.
Again, you want to cut off from your yellow, tuck into the pom-pom and go straight back over with your black layer. Exactly the same, this is the last layer now, all right, of your bumblebee. Right, once all your yellow is covered, again we're going to cut off from the wall and we're going to tuck in. So, your pom-pom maker should look like this. You should have black on one side at the top and yellow on one side on the other. So we've done yellow, black, yellow on this side and black, yellow, black on this side. We're going to join our pom-pom maker together, squeeze those little bits, those, and pull the clip down like so to make a donut like that. So you should have a small gap in the middle, which is where your thumb is going to go for security. All right, get your scissors. You're going to need a sharp pair because this is going to be muscle work. And we're going right in at the top and we're cutting all the way around the outside. And you can just see how effective that's looking already. Keep going around the circumference of the maker. When you get to the bottom, just give it a little turn in your hand and keep cutting all the way around, all the way around, all the way around until you get to the top, which looks something like that. Doesn't that look amazing? I cut a piece of thread sort of this long, um, put it in the top and around the bottom, wrap it around the circumference once, gather your threads together, cross them over at the top, pull through, pull through, pull really, really tight and do that another two times. So we're doing three double shoot lace knots and that's the security your buzzy bee is going to need. All right, make sure the threads then go to the top unclip those little clips that we had all you're doing is literally just flicking the clips upwards towards you they are a bit tough but you'll get there pull the pom pom maker from the top down ta-da look how amazing that looks already right so what we're going to do is we're going to give the pom pom a little bit of a trim first of all So we're now going to add some googly eyes onto our buzzy peas. I've chosen some really, really big ones because I think they look really, really good. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to get my glue gun or strong glue and I'm going to glue the reverse side of the googly eyes. And I'm going to stick it on the front of the buzzy bee. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the next one. Stick it on the front. So it looks something like that. Ooh, doesn't that look fab? And I've decided I'm going to cut those two long strings off because we don't want them. It's going to just be a funky shape for now. Right, then we're going to... Okay, so the next stage is we're going to make his antennas. So you want to get a black pipe cleaner. You want to bend it round at the top and bend it in back on itself. Just keep doing that until it makes a swirl and fills all of the black. All right, you want to leave a bit at the end because you're just going to bend it back in on itself so it stays. Then you're going to glue the end of the pipe cleaner. Like so, do a big blob. And then you're going to poke it into the top of your buzzy bee on the front of its face. And you're going to do it exactly the same on the other one until you have a buzzy bee that looks like this. Hooray! Right. Cut out some wings out of some white felt. Um, you want to stick the wings together, so sort of overlapping one another, and then you want to glue them into the top of the pom pom, just past the antennae, sort of so they're overlapping, so they're kind of frank, it's almost like a little heart shape. Um, so when you put them on the side, you have your queen buzzy bee. Woo! Isn't she great? So thank you very much for joining us for our pom pom buzzy bee um, mini make. Our large pom pom maker sets are available on our website for five pounds plus a little for postage. I think it works out about six pound ten. Um, I was thinking about popping um, a little activity pack for the buzzy bee on our website. Uh, so let us know um, in the comments if you'd like that too. Um, but otherwise, thanks so much for joining us. See you soon.